Hello, oh God. Hello? Oh. Can you guys hear me? Oh my God. You know what? I got, I got it. Man, I got to tell you guys something. Man, you know what happened? Oh. I'm the stupidest idiot sometimes. I am the dumbest motherfucker sometimes. You know, the other day I was editing videos and I was so focused and I kind of did this with my mouse. I just kind of did this with my mouse. And then I heard something go in the trash can. And I just so, I was so focused. I just didn't care about it. I was just like, oh, I'll pick it up later. And I forgot about it. And I took out the trash and get, I, and I, you know what I feel like went in there? My fucking Apple Watch. I can't find it. It's nowhere to be found. And now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, fuck. I think that was my Apple Watch. Yeah. I think I don't know. I mean, I searched everywhere around the house. Not it's. I can't find it. It's it's not really. And it, the phone, it, the i i the i what the Apple Watch is off too. It's out of battery, so I can't even find it. Can't even locate it. I think I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it is because it's fucking nowhere to be found. Yeah. Don't be like me. If something falls in the trash, fucking pick it up just just in case. See what went in there. So I was like, shit, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm the dumbass. It's all my fault. I should have double checked. I should have checked. I I I was so focused. I was just like, cause you know when I'm focused, I'm in the zone. I just I'm like. I should have checked it when when I when I heard that. I think it was my. Apple Watch. I don't know. Because there's no way I dropped it or I lost it. It's, it's I'm on my fucking wrist. And I always wear these two. This I always wear this and with the Apple Watch together. So that means that it has to be on the table. And it just, you know. Because normally you don't really check inside the trash. You know? I'm sure it'll show up. <laughs> <laughs> like it has it has legs or something. You know? Does it have a detective thing? It's off, so you can't you can't even find it. Buy another one, brand new one. Ha! Huh. Yeah, that was that was no. It, it was a very expensive watch, and it I, literally it's down the drain. So don't be like me. If you feel like you dropped something in the trash can, you know. Um, maybe in a pocket of a hoodie. I don't know if it's in the pocket of a hoodie. I wore a jacket the night where I went out with uh, Tina's birthday with Jay and Daniel. I checked everywhere. It's just it's just not there. I checked everywhere and it's just not there. I don't know. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Maybe it wasn't my Apple Watch that fell in the trash. Maybe maybe it's somewhere. I just can't find it. But yeah. Uh. It's been so long. How's everything? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How do you know it was Apple Watch? Though? Are you sure? Exactly. Like, I'm not sure if it was the Apple Watch. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just, just assuming it is because it's just disappeared. Well, I, I just can't find it. It's nowhere to be found. So sad for you. Thanks. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Uh, check behind under the bed in the bathroom. I did. I did the same thing with my passport. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad I'm not the only person. It sounds like you definitely dropped it in the truck. Yeah, it's 100%. Yeah. Maybe someone else took it? Who? Is the trash already taken? Yeah. Two days ago. So it's it, it's goner. The polar bear has it. I hopefully, hopefully, check your pockets bag. Yeah, I checked everywhere. 
but it's okay shit happens what can i say yeah it's heartbreaking it's very it, it's 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 heartbreaking but what can i say it is what it is i just have to live with it i just have to learn my mistakes every time you feel like you drop something in the trash check it what can i do huh But don't you segregate the trash? Typically, the trash, it's typically just tissues that I use to blow my nose and stuff. So it's kind of like, uh, so you, you just kind of put it in one. It's just regular trash, you know. Um, yeah, but it, it is what it is, you know, shit happens. What can I say? I haven't had to ask my mom because my mom knows everything, right? Because my, mom, my mom's like, it's not there. I'm like, no, she was like, oh, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> I'm like, shit, <laughs> you know. Poor Apple Watch, yeah. Fuck. What can I do? I'm just gotta move on. I'm still gonna try to find it. I'm still always gonna be aware of it and try to like look for it. You know? It could somewhere be here. But we'll see. How was your day? My I my day was great though. No shit, but guys are the worst when it comes to losing things. Yeah, you're goddamn right. That's facts. That's hella facts. Um, don't you remove it while sparring? No, I I don't wear them. I only I don't wear them in, during when I box because you have to wear hand wrap and you have to wear gloves and stuff. So I never bring it when I box. Maybe we'll find it later. Hopefully. Let's see. We'll find out. We'll find out. You know? But how was everyone's day? That was the only thing bad part about my day. But shit happens. You know, you just gotta, you know. Shit happens. What can I say? I just learned a valuable lesson. What have I learned? If I have anything that falls down in the trash can, check it. I'm actually gonna change the location of my trash can just... Just, you know, for the fuck of it. Uh, so sorry that you lost your watch. It's in sync with your iPhone. Maybe able to track it. I would be able to track it if it was on, but it's off, unfortunately. Well, I can't believe this is my first time watching you live on YouTube. Still remember the TikTok. Oh my goodness, wow. Can't you use find my? Yeah, if it's on. Look in the closet. I did. I looked everywhere. But you know what? I'll try to find it. Hopefully, I can find it. Hopefully, it wasn't the Apple Watch. It was something else. Because it happened last time. My AirPods actually fell in the trash. And I was like, where is it? I'm like, did it fall in the trash? And it was actually in the fucking trash. So now I'm starting to think it was probably the Apple Watch. It could have been my like it could have been my lighter. It could have been anything else, but it's my fucking apple. <laughs> well, that's my shit luck, you know. But I can only use the find thing if it's on. But unfortunately, if the battery was out by the time I was out with my friends, I realized, oh shit, the battery ran out. So it's dead. I can't even find it. And I typically, when as soon as I get home, I usually turn off. Anyway. I didn't notice you stopped wearing your watch. You used to wear Apple Watch religiously before. I did, but... Yeah, no, because I, I stopped because of the winter. Now I'm, I was just starting to wear it again. Um, I was just starting to wear it again because it's summer. It, 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 when I wear jackets, it gets in the way. So I would, that's why I wouldn't wear watches. Um... And it was like, oh, it's gonna. Oh, I can wear t-shirts outside now. I should start wearing watches. And this happens, so it's okay. Shit happens, you know.
stuff happened. We're human. Yeah, man. You know what? Shit happens. It's okay. I learned a valuable lesson today. What is that? Always check your trash before you throw it out. <laughs> you know? It was my daughter's birthday. Well, happy birthday. I will send you one, I swear. Oh, God. Thank you, though. Even even the words make me feel better. Even if it's just words, it makes me feel better. Currently at work, now overthinking of all the things I lost in the trash. <laughs> so I'm not the only one. They were in the glass in the middle of the clothes. Yeah, it might be somewhere fucking random. Who knows? But anyway, I hope you guys had a good day. Is the guitar just room property? Yeah, it's just decoration. I don't play guitar. My birthday too, but so funny my back. <laughs> yeah. You know, but shit happens. What can I say? At least I didn't. At least I know no one stole it. Imagine if I was wearing a Rolex, and I went out, and next thing you know, like my wrist, it's like gone from my wrist. Like that would make you feel like shit. Alex, thank you so much for subscription. That would make me feel like shit. But this time, it's like I lost it because of my own dumbass. So it's like I can only blame myself. But imagine if I got it stolen. That would piss me off more. You know. No, but it's my dumbass fault. It's no one's fault. So it is what it is. I just suppose you framed that. I know, I know, right? Watch it be beyond my guitar. Tiring day. I'm about to pass out. Oh. When is your chess tournament? Currently watching the live on my giant TV in the living room. Good. What made you get into streaming? Uh, I first started off streaming on TikTok, and then I got, I realized I, uh, I had a knack for it, and you know. And that's how I got started. But yeah, uh, the spa day, yeah, like my mom doesn't really, she only goes to places she just goes to herself so it's not a good idea just imagine that you had a PO box probably receive four to five Apple watches and would never have to worry about the order. I doubt it who would get me Apple watch uh hugs to you Sean that is fun when you lose something yeah it's not fun yeah I'm about to ready to give up on the whole gym thing I tripped and fell off the Stairmaster again. How do you fall off a Stairmaster? Yeah, but, you know. The last post you made about the horse. Oh, by the way, I want to do some Reddit stories tonight, Kiz Tosh, if you can kindly. Uh, could you send me some Reddit stories, please? Are you kidding me right now? Really? People send me Apple Watch? <laughs> that's so nice. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how I can accept that. That's so, that's, it's very expensive. My day was shit. Woke up with the worst headache and I still feel super sleepy. I'm so tired from all the old prep the past few days. There's always a new topic every day. Today, I want to do Reddit stories for sure. I almost fell on my face using a treadmill. Oh, okay. Treadmill, I understand. It happened to me too. But, um, you know, 
treadmill, I understand, but stairmaster, how do you fall off a fucking stairmaster? You know what we what Koreans call stairmaster? Stairway to heaven because it's fucking painful. You need a PO box, then I guess so. I guess I do need a PO box. What color do you want? Uh anything. I don't I don't really mind. EID prep. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, you guys are no way you guys are actually gonna say the Apple Watch. Oh my goodness. How can I accept that? Please get glasses. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the, what is the idea anyway. I don't even know what that is. Oh, and I think next week, Tuesday, I'll have Jerry on stream. Yep, finally. Yeah, we finally worked out a schedule. So Jerry will be here next Tuesday. Very excited. I still got to brainstorm what we're going to do. Something funny. Jay, Jerry's quiet and shy, so I have to do something that will make him bothered. You know, maybe we pick up lines to each other, you know, like bother the fuck out of him. T-shirt always on point. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I had dinner with Daniel and uh, Jay today. We're so we're planning the Bali trip. Daniel has to go to the States for one month. So I was like, yo, just go to the States. Enjoy your time. Relax. And we'll come back and, you know, we'll book everything. And, you know, so we're trying to take it. We're trying to go take the flight, uh, do a layover um, because it's cheaper. You know, we don't want to spend too much money on the flight ticket because uh, if I if we do a direct flight from Korea, it it costs eight thousand dollars. Oh no, sorry, no, it, no, sorry, not eight thousand dollars, eight hundred dollars, and uh, U.S. dollars ish. And if we take a lay layover, layover, yeah, layover, it's about four hundred fifty, four hundred bucks. So might as well just do it. it. It's much cheaper, double the price. So we're gonna do the layover and then uh daniel told me that uh the price of uh, like just you know food price in bali is a lot it's very cheap so uh I, yeah i think probably just gonna spend a lot of the money on where we're gonna stay because i want i don't like i want us to stay we all want to stay in a really nice sort of villa with a pool on it and it's very affordable too you know very affordable so i think in total it, it, you just daniel was like each of us we just need 500 bucks and i'm like oh my god okay cool you know that's so pricey yeah yeah bali is so cheap yeah i'm excited you know uh yeah the flight ticket is not that bad too i think in total i'll probably just need like a thousand dollars you know for the for the flight ticket and just a little over a thousand dollars to be fair so yeah i gotta save up for that make sure to swim with the dolphins or go dolphin watching oh, i'm gonna swim with the dolphins 100 percent. and so jay's so funny he was like if i disappear just don't be worried i'm like what, what are you talking about it's like because i like to look around the town and i'm like we do that together jay <laughs> that's what traveling is called you know Yeah. Daniel was like, you just need $500. Because he said the food is so cheap. The villa, he went to Bali, I think, last year. And he said that he spent $500 tops. Like, just on food and, and, and stuff like that. I was like, God damn. Dude, no wonder people moved. Because there's a lot of people that earn a shit ton of money and they just moved to Bali. You know? So I was like, okay, cool. Like that's that's really really cool. How long will the flight be? Well, that depends on how much you have to wait. Like the layover, we could we might have to wait an hour and a half or two hours or three. It depends. The seeing the food and even transportation is quite cheap. Yeah, I heard. I hope I was there in Bali. I plan it soon. My dad was there. Yeah. I checked the mine. It only cost two hundred seventy USD and a flight ticket. Wow. It cost us like four hundred dollars. No. It's quite pricey. It's it's not that. It's not cheap. <laughs> it, it ain't cheap. 
it's quite pricey you know <sighs> but yeah I'm, I, I'm excited though I'm really we're all excited Jay did like this whole haul you know he went to H&M he bought all these shirts and stuff for the Bali we're all very excited for it yeah never you know never thought I could be going to Bali fresh coconut ice cream please try if you get time I will do will do Villas in Bali are cheap. They all look like great, including a pool. Yeah, I think, uh, what is it? The, 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 what is it? Um, Daniel told me that. It's very affordable villas. I pay for the flight ticket to Seoul. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, from, from where you are to Seoul would be pricey, of course. It's a very, very long flight. We, we well we know you'll definitely be popular there excited to hear all about it yeah all flight prices are so crazy now we get, we used to get tickets for $50 to London too Oof. yeah I think after COVID you know after COVID My mom was testing her new iPhone, the vocal search tennis, and the phone understood as penis. Oh no. You need to make videos like you did on. I don't know if I'm going to vlog when I go to Bali. I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see. You're so lucky you live in Seoul. All the best vacations are closer to you. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Japan, and but it's not close to the US. Like, I probably have to pay quite, you know. Hope you had the best time and have people feeding you grapes by the pool too, yeah. Oh, Alexia, hello. Yeah, Alexia. Really wanted to do that boxing thing, you know. But, uh, right? Some things, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Maybe next time you ever, you do get to come back to Korea, we can get it going. But I was, I was truly, um, yeah, I was like, fuck. It wasn't a good feeling. Because I was super excited for it, but you know, it, but it, that happens, right? It's like scheduled and stuff like that. But maybe, hopefully, one day when you do get to come back to Korea, we can really get it going. And luckily, I was able to ask Ianu to come in to shoot it. So Ianu is going to be doing it. In Bali, the cost is dependent on our pocket, too, and what kind of holiday you want. Yeah, I think because I'm going in the summer, which is uh, July, it's a little bit more pricier than if I would go, like, in October or something. Ow! Oh my god, freeloader, thank you so much for 10 coffee. Small contribute small contribution for your watch. I've been freeloader on this stream for some time. Maybe now is the right time to give something back. Oh my god. Yo, that actually makes me feel so much better. Wow, thank you so much. Uh yeah, wow, that I, I don't know why. That it it just made me feel <laughs> a lot better for losing my watch. Thank you so much for the 10 coffees, freeloader. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That actually made me feel a lot better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for the 10 coffee. Thank you. Thank you very much. That actually makes me... Oh, that's so nice. That actually makes me feel a lot better. Uh, because Korea is around the corner. Huh? Yeah. But I'm very excited for Bali. Yeah, I am very excited. You know, I don't really travel a lot, and I never really had the chance to travel because I was always working. And but it's nice. I'm excited. You know, I'll be here for sure, and then you will probably be a pro. No, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I I really wanted it to be you, but it's okay. 
uh, hopefully we can do a part two once you're back. I just need four hours driving from my home to Bali. Weekend escape, crazy routine. Huh? Have fun, you'll love it there. Yeah. Writing my final test today for a quarter. Wish me luck. Ooh. Bali with the boys or something else. Vicky. Yeah, I'm going to eat there. I'm going to go go to eat. Yeah. I'm going to eat. Next time you should visit Europe. <laughs> I've been saying that since the beginning of my streams. I said I wanted to go to Europe. That was like in the beginning, I would say that. Even back in my TikTok days, I'll be like, I want to go to Europe, you know. I can already see the thirst traps in Bali. <laughs> well, I am working. I'm really cutting down. I'm really working hard for it, you know. I'm really, really working hard for it right now, and it's looking pretty good. So, you know, and July, mid-July, that will be in three months. Three months, so... Uh, hi, hello, how are you? Come to Italy, I'd love to. I'm in Indonesian and Bali's near my place. Only need four hours driving. Ooh. But I'm probably going to get hella tan, though. Probably get hella tan. After Bali, it has to be Tokyo. Yeah, you know, uh, probably. I think, I'll, I think my next destination. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. I, I don't know how it's going to work, you know. But I saw a video where there were thousands of spiders in Bali. I'll never go there. I think it's just, where the fuck did you go? After Bali, where would you want to go? So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe... I don't know. I might go to back to Japan for a little bit. Tokyo specifically. Oh, why don't you come here then? Well, everything from the plane ticket and, you know, it's uh and just working. I don't know. I just don't. It, yeah, I don't have the time, really. And I'm not really the biggest traveling person. You know, I, I'm not really the big travel guy. Um... I'm just very, uh, I don't know. I realized after coming back from Japan, I'm not really a travel guy. Oh, really? Bali has a lot of spiders? Well, I don't really, I, I like spiders, so. You can wear all the t-shirts now. <laughs> yeah. I still have to work. I still have some work to do. Still got some work to do. Where are you going to Bali then? We're gonna we're gonna plan it like once uh, Daniel comes back from the states, we're gonna start the planet. Mm. If you want to see cornfields and some uh, mattress stores and a Walmart, come to Indiana. <laughs> Indiana, that's like I don't think anybody would be like I don't know offense, but then if you go to where are you going in the states, Indiana, it's like huh. It's typically, it's L.A., New York, right? You know, whatever. Miami, right? Go to Sicily. I love to go to Sicily. That's actually where I want to go in Italy, is Sicily. You're the first person to say you love spiders. I like spiders. I I, I don't... I, I think... I, I like spiders. It's not like I, I want to have it as a pet. But I like spiders. I have nothing... You know, I, I'm not really scared of spiders, really. Mikey here from San Diego. Hello, how are you? <sighs> Gemma, thank you so much for the coffee. Have a nice day. Love your videos. I, I love you too. Thank you very much for the coffee. Thank you very much. Yay. Spiders freak the hell out of me. There's, uh, yeah, I mean, but you, you know what's scarier than, not scarier, but you know what bothers me more than spiders is flies. I fucking hate flies. I hate flies for some reason. They're so useless. Spiders are cool. 
flies are just useless. What the f- like, what's, I don't understand it. I hate flies. And they're, they're loud. It's so annoying. It doesn't know. It's like, I, I, yeah. Like, it's just like, oh, like, hee. It's just. <sighs> Are you a cat or a dog person? I am 100% a dog person. 100% dog person. I'm not a cat person. I, I never really had <laughs> any sort of, um, you know, memorable moment with a cat ever. So, yeah, I like dogs still. I really, really, I'm a huge dog person. I love dogs. Flies are the dirtiest thing in, insects. Yeah, they are. Did you guys know? You know when, like, when a human, when a person is about to die, or they, or it's like a corpse, like maggots grow in the corpses, right? You know why maggots form? It's because flies first get there and then they hatch eggs, they lay eggs, and then those become maggots. Yeah, flies are fucking gross. I hate flies. Darren Wong, thank you so much for the subscription. You'll change your mind. You actually have a cat. I didn't like cats before I had one. I, I still would prefer a dog. You know, there's this thing where there's a story where this cat, uh, this owner was a very old guy. He passed. He had like a stroke or a heart attack in his apartment. And people, uh, for Keith Tattoo, his corpse was there for like a couple days. And when they finally opened the door to into his home, the cat ate him. A dog would starve. A dog would starve and die with you. You know what I'm saying? Cats don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. They just want to be fed. They don't want to give a shit about you. You know? Dogs, you can have that intimate relationship. You can have that friendship. It's it's a friendship. It's it, it's it's a companionship that you can have with a dog. You know? Cats don't give a fuck. They don't care. Don't forget cockroaches. Yeah, I don't like cockroaches too. Yeah, they don't. Those fuckers don't die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, but I think I'm pretty much just gonna stay in Bali. You know. That happened to a woman who lived in Mall Street. Her cats ate her after she passed. <laughs> Speaking of, when's Eddie coming back? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully soon. We'll see. I had two pit bulls, a Doberman, and a German Shepherd. And oh, wow. You had the best badass dogs. Shell, Shell, thank you so much for the subscription. Thank you very much. How long will you stay in Bali? I think f four nights and five days, or three nights and four days. I don't know. We're still deciding. What do you think? How would you suggest I approach my crush? You can either message me. Uh, you should actually message my moderators first, and they'll relay the message to me. What's your shed for San Diego? What's what, what, what shed? San Diego? What, what, like, what, what are my thoughts of it? Drake and Josh comes in mind. Because they live in San Diego, right? Uh, come to South Africa, we have lots of big animals and small ones. Uh, five days is enough, huh? Are you the cute little dogs that fit in a purse dog? No, I want a fucking big boy. I want a bad motherfucker. I, I want... I want like a, like like a bad like I want a big baddie, yeah. I want a big boy, I can fuck people up. That's what I want. Five days and four nights, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. I had a Rottweiler growing up. Now I have a cute Labrador. Oh, I love Labradors. Labradors are so cute.
I saw a video of you getting confused with today's new English. Ah, is that the? Uh, I'm pretty sure I, that that's the Finna, right? I'm talking about someone in real life. I've only seen them in the library. I don't know how to say hi. Oh, I mean, well, you can technically do DM me, but then there's not. Um, I don't. I don't think there's gonna be a chance that I'd read it. But still, like I said, if you do want to message your crush. Uh, you can always just uh, message my moderators and then they'll relay the message to me. I see you with the Doberman. Thank you. I see. Ah, Yoksi. Like, see, she knows. Imagine me with a Doberman. That makes sense. Imagine me with a fucking, like, like, like a po Pomera Pomeranian. I look gay. Shit don't work. I, I, I'm, I'm all about the big dog. Imagine me with a Rottweiler. German Shepherd, Alaskan Malamute, huh? Little fucking poodle. I legit look gay. You either match a husky or Rottweiler. See, can you? Ah, you see, see, you guys, you guys know some shit. <laughs> you fucking, yo, what the hell, Daniel M. <laughs> With the five coffees, you're a fiercely loyal friend, and I should be sleeping, but I'm watching your sexy ass live instead. Get yourself a real cheat day while I'm gone, and we'll do laundry on our washboard apps together when I get back. You son of a, you son of a gun, you son of a gun. Daniel, thank you so much for the 25. Thank you so much for the five coffees. Thank you very much. Go to fucking bed. Huh? You were tired as hell today. Go to bed. Okay? Have a safe flight. I'll text you again before before you get on. Ah, yeah. Someone comes in as we, we. I just had a real wholesome, wholesome moment with my friend, and someone comes in with a. Do you know BTS? Yeah, we. Well, yeah, okay. Way to ruin it. What a sweet friend, Daniel. You, uh, he's not a sweet friend. He's actually a dick. Yeah, he's a dick, actually. Yeah, he's actually a dick. He's not. He's not actually. You know what? Now that he's gone, I can finally talk shit about him. He's not a good friend. He's an he's an ass. Yeah, he's a complete asshole. I I fucking hate this guy. I don't even know why I hang out with the guy. <laughs> you know? Huh? You know that guy, he, he's what he does. Whenever he, he carries a tray, he's what he does. He carries it, and he's always flexing. He's like, you know what I'm saying? He's an idiot. I don't know why I hang out with him. I still don't understand. I, I'm just fucking crazy. I think it's because I lost my Apple Watch that I, you know, I decided to kind of, you know, spend my time with Daniel today. Out of stress. Because he's always my last resort. But, you know. We have like two famous quotes here. I leave my heart in Bali. What happened to Bali? See in Bali. You really need more than five days. You think? I don't know. I'll see. But we'll decide. Daniel and I and Jay will 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 decide. We'll think about it. We'll think about what we can do. Watch, I bet Daniel has my fucking Apple Watch. I bet that guy has my Apple Watch. When I told him today, he was acting. He was like, oh, really? You lost it? I bet he fucking has it. 
I bet he has it. Watch him like be in America wearing that wearing my Apple Watch. I swear to God. Stop lying, Sean. Daniel Sorome, you don't have to put up an act for us. Oh my god, it's what friends do. This is what we do. We always talk shit. Okay, this is what we do. This is what guys do. Maybe girls can't understand it, but it's what guys do. Okay, that means that we're that close. You know, you know how you know when you're close to a guy is when we shit on each other. Okay? That's how you know. Because I, I, I know girls, you guys bullshit in order to make other girls feel better. It's like, you know, let's say like your friend gained weight. It's like, no, you're saying you're still beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish Edward would go with you guys. I'm going to ask him to. I, I don't think Edward be like, he'll be like, girl, with, with three straight guys, no thank you. He might, I, I think, I have a feeling, I have a feeling he might say that, but I'm still going to ask him though. I would love it if Edward comes. Holy shit, that would be the best fucking trip. We talked about it and we're both like, we're all like, yeah, I don't think he's going to be down, but you know, that's, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask, so I'm still going to ask though. Seven days. Seven days. So you see a Korean guy and immediately think of K-pop? What? Are you asking me that? He would definitely say that, right? And he always has like a stare when he talks. He goes like, he always says that. He always kind of tilts down and looks at you. <laughs> but I don't know. Let's ask. Uh, let's ask him. Let me call him. Let, let, let's call him. I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll pick up because it's his gaming time right now. But let's see if he picks up though. I don't think he'll pick up the phone. But uh, Eddie, uh, I'm I'm streaming right now. You okay? Yeah. I we have me, Jay, and Daniel have a brilliant idea, Edward. Okay. Are you ready? No, but huh? go ahead. We have an amazing idea. Oh God. You, me, Jay, Daniel, Bali, this July. I thought you were gonna say something about OnlyFans. <laughs> what do you really want me to start OnlyFans at this point? No, I thought you were gonna be like, let's film an OnlyFans video. Us too. Four person bukake, massive gangbang. <laughs> balling? Yeah. What do you think? Oh, uh, you know, I hate traveling. Edward, come on, man. I'm so lazy. Come on, man. Us four. What do you I think? I have to go to America. When are you going? Some at some point. Huh? At some point. <laughs> some point when? Blah. Have fun. Fucking hell. You know what I said? I was I was pretty I was pretty much sure you were gonna say girl with three three with three straight guys fuck no I thought that's you what you would say uh I mean I wouldn't mind but what am I gonna do with three straight dudes <laughs> are you Edward like why did uh, I'll be gay for the trip then girl shut the fuck up why are you gonna be gay for the trip and nothing else I'll be gay for the trip then would you come oh, girl you're fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> what Edward come on man it's we're gonna go we're gonna have a good time. Are we? Yeah. I mean, did you see my ass during our little trip down to the Airbnb? You were great. <laughs> I was great on your stream, but the rest of the night I was on my game gear. No, that was only at night, though. Well, okay, uh, but please think about it, though. Oh, honey, I'll think about it for oh, two fuck. seconds. Come on, man. Be, well, be a team player. Stream. Be a team player. Be on your stream. Okay. Is that a no? 
Well, I'll think about it. Okay. I'll see. Uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, bye bye. Fucking hell. <sighs> yep. See, told you. But I, you know, I, you know what? I believe. I, I still have trust in Ed, in Eddie that he's gonna come. I don't know. I just, I have a, I, I feel like he's gonna do it. I, I feel like it. I know he's gonna say yes. I, I feel it. He's just saying this, but I know deep down inside he wants to come and he's gonna have a good time. I know he's gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna have my uh, hopes up. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have my old up. You know how what, what I saved him on my phone, Ed Weirdo. Oh, look at that, KS Tosh with KS Tosh with the uh, Reddit stories. Here we go. These are so good. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> All right. These are great. All right. Can you just send a picture of you on your bed, draw a stick figure, and write, this could be you? Oh, yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should lay down and take a selfie and be like, this could be us. Tell them there'll be hot guys in Bali. Maybe that could be. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? The first one. Uh, am I the asshole for wanting to have sex with my fiance? That is such an odd question. My fiance and I have been engaged for a year and are getting married in a few months. Congratulations. Before we were engaged, we had a pretty good sex life. After we got engaged, her sex drive plummeted. Okay, it's a guy talking. Okay. We have had conversations about it. And at first, she chalked it up for some body issues like weight gain and some uh, minor issues. I respected this. Figure she would come around and decided not to press it. What I didn't expect, though, was going from being sexual three times a week to maybe twice in the past year. I had my suspicions that this wasn't just body issues, so I finally confronted her about it. And after some serious prying, she explained that she didn't lose her virginity to her last boyfriend how she wanted to and that she thinks she wants to wait until we are married to continue having sex. What? All her friends waited until marriage to have sex for the first time, and neither her nor I chose to take that route. And she has been with different people since. She's also come from a de deeply religious Catholic background, and she claims to be feeling guilty now that our wedding is coming up. Uh, I might be asked for being upset about this. I can respect waiting until marriage, but I didn't sign up for it when we started dating, and neither did she. It was only until after we got engaged that suddenly it mattered. Our whole dynamic has changed, and I have to admit that I'm beginning to resent her for it. What the fuck is going on? So, it was fine, and then once you get engaged, and then she's like, we should stop? What the fuck is that? You guys get it? What the fuck is that? So she suddenly became religious? And now after engagement, she's like, nope. Maybe she's getting that dick somewhere else. Fuck, I don't know. But we're going to move on because it's kind of confusing.
Oh shit, what is this? Okay. <laughs> Am I the asshole for occasionally asking my boyfriend for money? So I was a dollar short for coffee this morning and I, he made a huge deal of, out of it. He said I was acting like a brat because instead of just accepting no as his answer, I said, are you serious? To me, it was the principal and I was embarrassed to walk out of the store like that. A couple days ago, he bought me some moisturizer for $8 and I asked the next time we were at the store if he would get me some foundation for my face, which is also $10 or less. I believe that everybody has their own way of doing things financially, but it's not like I'm frivolous spending his money. It's a very rare occasion that I ask for anything. He does pay for food and necessities and I've told him I will pay him back when my settlement comes and I fully intend to. Like I have every other time, one time I had 100 bucks and I just kept 20 and gave him 80 because I thought that was a fair thing to do. Then when I got 200 bucks from tax return, he wanted 50 of it for gas. Gave it to him, no problem. When I got my last paycheck, was only 50 bucks. I bought our movie tickets to see Top Gun. I would never have the audacity to bring this up otherwise. I feel that it was petty slash trashy slash gross to throw money you've spent on someone willingly in the past in their face. And I have the firm belief that all men should have been raised better than that. Especially if it's a rather in in insignificant amount. Anyways, guys, help me out here, please. I feel that your opinions on the I Am I the Asshole are usually rather reasonable and put together. This is my first time posting on here or Reddit in general. Mind you, neither of us are working right now. We're both recovering from severe health issues. Also, I should add that his family gives him money. I, on the other hand, do not have that luxury. So it's not like he's broke or hurting for money. In my opinion, I didn't ask for much, and if the tables were turned, I would have easily handed over the petty dollar. No problem, am I the asshole? Edit, let me just say that this is the first time I've asked him to buy me anything in six months of living together. I don't ask him to take me shopping or get my nails done, ever, nothing. Nothing like that goes on. I asked for a couple things over the last few days, and his answer has been no every time. Should I be with someone who doesn't see eye to eye to me here? It sucks because everything else about our relationship works out really well. I think asking for money and like short like let's say like you're we're on a date and you're trying to buy coffee for us but you're like I'm kind of short a dollar if that was me I'd just be like why the fuck are you paying I'll pay for it of course but let's say that situation where she's we're in a coffee shop, she's short for a dollar, but she's only buying it for herself, let's say. And I was like, oh, do you have like a chonon, a dollar? Um, it's it's cheer, I have cheer chonon, but it's part chonon. Can I have, do you have chonon? I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I, I'll give. And I basically pay for necessities and everything. And then in the past a week, you would ask me to buy you foundation from Olive Young. And I'm like, no. You do it yourself, right? It's good to be a situation you can buy everything to yourself. <laughs> they should stay away from each other. Yeah, I don't think they should really, I don't know, like I don't think they should really be in a relationship right now. You know, it's either the it's either the guy brings the money in or the girl brings the money in, both bring the money in and then you can kind of it would work, you know. Um Yeah, I don't know. But I just I I just feel like it's it's important. That's why I always say when you're meeting a guy, make sure that he I'm not saying that you have to go out and date a millionaire. If you do date a millionaire, good for you. But somebody that has his shit together in a sense, you know, like somebody that has things going for himself, not somebody that gets still gets paid from his mom. That's, you know, right. Make sure to get out there and find yourself a guy that uh, that uh, has somewhat of a shit together. You know what I mean? That's, I've been saying that since the beginning. I've been saying that since day fucking one. You know. Money is the ruler of all evil. I think that's a very pessimistic viewpoint of money. 
I feel like money is a necessity that we ha we need. Sure, it's, I don't think it necessarily brings happiness, but it definitely takes out a lot of the stress. Because if you're only going to think, because deep down inside we all want to be successful, we all be we all all want to be rich. Who doesn't want to be rich? We all want to be rich. But I truly believe that if you if you live your life hating something and being like, oh, money is all money is evil, money is evil, then you will never you would just stay that way you're not gonna i don't think you would become successful it's just in my humble opinion you know with any sort of hate the way you're gonna approach it and if you're if your ideology is that money is evil money is shit money but well, fuck rich people it's two choices you see either you want to be rich or you hate the rich people if you hate the rich people then you're just gonna stay that way you're just gonna live live breathe and die hating rich people it's either you say i hate rich people you want to be one of them I want to be in that group. It's only one of them, you know. I, I that that's just how I would approach it, you know. And if you're okay with just hating rich people and hating money, then that's fine. I think if, as long as you're happy, cool. Because who cares what other people think, right? But when I see people think, "Oh, money's all evil," and I'm like, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think I would say money helps people a lot too, you know. But that's just my opinion. And also, yes, if you're when you're trying to date a guy, date somebody that has you know his somewhat of his shit together, you know. Or I I don't know, but in this Reddit story scenario, yeah. <laughs> oh, Marco, hello, what's up? I'm boyfriend, my boyfriend, I'm 21, and my boyfriend is 24. I'm a drop out of college, and he has bachelor's in cybersecurity. Awesome. Good for you. Oh my god, this, even the story, like the guy is 25 and the girl is 21, are you 24? Oh, you're 24, yeah, well, the guy's 25 here. Am I the asshole for asking my boyfriend to stop lending money to his ex? <sighs> my boyfriend and I met about two years ago, became friends, fell in love, and then started dating right after. In all of our time as a couple, we have not argued once about money. Argued about money? Considering we're both financially secure. Ah, the opposite of the past Reddit story. We both like to treat, each, eat, treat one another, taking each other out for dinner dates and paying for surprise trips. It's one of the ways we show each other how much we care and how much we're willing to invest in one another. Now I know that my boyfriend has been on friendly terms with his ex, <laughs> which I'm totally fine with. You shouldn't be fine with that. I've uh, met her before and we're cool, so there's really no bad blood there at all. However, recently during a conversation, he mentioned that Katie's in a new relationship and that her new uh, significant other is kind of stingy, so he's refusing to pay her pay for her usual expenses. I said that I think no one should be financing their partner's entire life in the first place, especially not at that new of a relationship. To which my boyfriend replied, I've been doing that for her since we broke up. And my jaw dropped. Basically, he has been lending his ex for money for the past two years in which we've been in a relationship. <laughs> and not a small sum either. I added a total he has spent $75,000 on her. That's a lot of fucking money. Now, this isn't the kind of situation where you're helping a friend out of a tough spot in a while either. She has the means to cover her necessities like rent, etc. No, rather the money my boyfriend sends her is being used on beauty products, eating out, and other little luxuries. I asked him whether he had been any expectation of getting any of it back. He says he doesn't care much that he eats because that's how their relationship has always been. Oh, you found the wrong guy. You found the wrong fucker. I got super upset and told him that kind of transactional relationship with another woman is totally unacceptable. I tried to explain how this isn't something you just casually do for any friend and how I feel devalued by the fact that I'm just one of multiple people being regularly treated to dinner by him which is essentially what he's doing even if he isn't present at the dinners himself. 
I also told him that the money could have been used for us to invest in a shared apartment. Look at them right. He says that I don't get it, that she hasn't had it easy life, easy in life, and that as a kid she never got to enjoy those little things like eating out with her family that she deserves. I be no man, you say. Him saying that didn't make me. Oh, sorry, him saying that did make me feel more sympathetic towards her. I don't know her story, and I understand wanting to give your friends the world. I really do, but I can't help feel betrayed, uncomfortable with this situation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, ladies, what do you think? What if you're dating this guy, and then you found out that he was giving money to his ex this whole fucking time? Oh, she had a, she had a bad life. We were always had that relationship. I had to help her. Seventy five thousand fucking dollars out the uh, out the drain. Now my uh, now I don't feel that bad about my fucking Apple Watch. How does she expect a boyfriend to respect her when she has respect when she has she has zero respect for herself? She would have walked away without saying anything. You know. What does he get in return? Nothing. You get nothing. My man's old money is only my money. No, it's his money. It's not your money at all. I wouldn't even discuss about it. Bye. Hmm. That is just not normal. Yeah. That's stupid as fuck. By the way. Stupid as shit. <laughs> I, you guys know what I'm already, what I'm gonna say about this. You guys already know. That's so stupid. Like, that is the most ridiculous thing ever, ever. But um, yeah. That's why I say this again. I shit. See, this is like the golden rule. I'm giving you all. You ladies, I swear to God, if you don't find a guy that I can look at and be like, wow, you guys are doing something fucking wrong, let me tell you, because I'm giving you all the fucking secrets, okay? If a guy remotely is close with his ex, that, no. Uh, trust me. Trust me. Yeah, that's the one of the biggest fucking red flags is a guy that's close with his ex. Trust me, that's the one of the worst. That means he has no fucking frame. As a man, he has no frame. That means that he has no frame as a man. Zero. Fucking zero. He's a pussy, that's who he is. Trust me. I don't want to... I've explained this thoroughly before... I don't want to have to explain it again, but just trust me. If a guy that you're seeing, you find out that he's close with his ex, oh, she's still a good friend of mine. It's it's over. Chincha. Guaranteed. Investing his money. I don't know what the fuck he's doing with the seventy-five thousand. Maybe he was getting some blow jobs at the gas station. I don't fucking know. But let me tell you. If a guy says, oh, yeah, 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 me and my ex, are, we're, we're in good terms. Fucking red flag. Trust me. I'm a guy. Okay, I know some shit. Okay. Okay, everyone. Remember, if you're on a date with a guy and you're like, oh, this guy's really cool. Like, I'm really starting to like the guy. Oh, yeah, I'm friends with my ex. Walk away. Like, just like what Winston said in John Wick. Jonathan, just walk away. Okay? Walk away. Why do you have to be enemy with your ex? No, I never said you have to be enemies. I just said that once I break up with somebody, 
It's gone. It's fucking done. You're a stranger. You get into a car crash the next day. I don't give a fuck. I do not care. I do not give a shit. You are a stranger. Thank you so much for the five coffees. Juana, love your streams got interrupted with a call, but I helped the Apple Watch donation. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much for the five coffees. Juana, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Out of respect for my current partner that I am dating, why the fuck would I want to be friends with my ex? Why? I don't know. I, I don't understand that. If it's done, it's done. I don't go back. I don't go back. That's the ultimate rule. No matter, even if the, even if you, I think as a man, even if you're, you can be in love with her, but you, I have to honestly learn how to just fucking leave as a man because I have to, I have my dignity. It's just how it works. Won't you even talk to her if you'll bump her on the street? No, I ignore her. Fuck, would I, why would I talk to her? I don't do that shit. Maybe it's different because we all have different lives. Maybe some of you guys are friends with your ex. You still are best friends. I don't believe that shit. I live in the real world. I don't believe in that. Because to me, a friend is somebody that I can genuinely gain from. Because every relationship has a give and take. What the fuck can I gain from my ex? What? Is she going to give me money? Is she going to make me feel better <gasps> I have a problem I need to talk to somebody call on my ex hello I gotta talk to you I'm feeling real bad right now <gasps> get fucked it's not like I resent her or it's not like I hate her no I just don't talk about it don't care it's over it's in the past stranger done that's what I mean. Out of respect for my current partner. Out of respect. Like, you gotta understand that. Right? I'm not saying to be friends, but I wouldn't treat someone like a ghost because I've broken up. Well, we all have different lives. To me, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. The only person that I, like, once I decide to be in a relationship, the only person that I'm going to look at, the only person that I'm going to be focusing on is whoever I'm, whoever I'm dating. That's it. No fucking, I don't want to have anything with other girls. Like, it's just that person. That's it. That's how I approach it. And as a man, I think that's very important. You know? If I tell her that I'm going to only look at you and I'm only going to fall in love with you all over again every time, then it, that's how it's going to be. Why the fuck would I be in the middle of the streets just talking to my ex so casually? Fuck that. That's just me, though. Based on this story, she might just give you money. <laughs> how much? 75000 Shit, if it's 75000 I might know. When you were a green field, no, no, no. I consider myself a blue field. That's what I am. I'm a mix of flags. I'm a rainbow flag. Oh, wait, that means I'm gay, right? Sorry, no. I'm a... Uh, let's go blue. Maroon blue. Huh? What do you think? When you, What if the ex is in your friend group? Like, would you give up the others because of her? <laughs> If I'm going to see this girl and I realize her friend group, her ex is in her fucking friend group, I'll just fuck her and leave. That's it. I, I'm not really interested in being in a serious relationship at that point. Has an ex of yours ever tried to come back? I don't know. I, I don't know. I've I never been in a relationship. I'm, 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 a, I'm a pure man. You guys know that. I'm a Christian. 
I'm, I'm Muslim now. Abdul Solo. I've transitioned. You guys know that? Shit. Why are you asking me stupid questions? Next question. <clears throat> Uh, one of the member of my team said that I'm an anti-feminist just because I said I like manly men, not cute ones. And <laughs> someone said that you're a fucking anti-feminist for saying you want masculine men. Man, that's the kind of world we live in, right? Because if I if I say oh, I want a feminine woman for my boy for my girlfriend, you're a misogynist. You can't handle independent women, Sean. You can't handle. Okay, we'll just do one more. We'll do one more. Oh, there's a lot of money stuff, huh? <laughs> this is funny. No? Oh shit! This 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 story got the yo boy. Ah, oh. Okay, this is a little different. This is a little different. This is interesting. What? Huh? Did you just create a new color, maroon blue? It's a new thing, you know. Maroon blue is it's it's real. As a tomboy, my mom was surprised. I like I got a boyfriend. Hey, there's some guys that like that look. There's there's guys that like that short hair action, you know. There's some guys that are okay, you know, not be you know. When he's behind and you're not, you know, sometimes you want to get fucking your hair pulled. Some guys don't care about that stuff. Or maybe he does. Maybe he just, he just goes a little bit further for the reach, you know, hopefully he has long arms. But anyway, mm -mm. am I the asshole for not eating at a vegan restaurant on my grandma's birthday? Okay, sorry. Let me read that again. I'm confused. Am I the asshole for not eating at a vegan restaurant for my grandma's birthday? Okay. Um... So this happened yesterday because it was my grandma's birthday. Uh, and my mom, oh, sorry, let me, let me read that again. So this happened yesterday. Basically, it was my grandma's birthday. I'll call her gr gr Grinny because that's what I call her. It's a nickname she's had for as long as I can remember. And my mom, myself, brother, sister, and Grinny went to a vegan restaurant. All of their food are plant-based. Even their drinks, only alcoholic drinks, weren't entirely vegan slash plant-based. I was looking at the menu and nothing really appealed to me. Seeing as how I have very meat-heavy eating habits, so do I. Both my mom and Grinny are saying that I need to eat something while my brother and sister and Grinny were gone. Me and my mom got into an argument where she told me that I had to eat something because it was Grinny's birthday dinner and because she picked this place because she knew Grinny would like it, to which I responded with just, no. After that, Mom and Granny gave up with myself and my siblings as we wouldn't choose chose we wouldn't chose what to eat. The entire time, the, uh, while the food was on the table, Kim and Granny were constantly telling me that I have to eat because it's disrespectful or because this is Granny words. It'll make me sad. After saying everything, I was just told I was being stubborn, which I was. But they didn't stop trying to make me eat food I didn't want to eat. I can see that it's being disrespectful. And I'm not sure about being an asshole. Edit. They weren't anything like sandwiches, salads. I could find super fries just because a lot of people saying I have, should have chosen them. Um, you know. Uh, you know. Uh, I don't know. I think you should have kind of. If it was my grandmother's birthday. 
or let's say my mom was a vegan we decided to go to i we decided to go to a vegan restaurant for her birthday and then i'll probably just have a vegan meal out of respect you know i mean there are some they are good pretty good vegan dishes man i'm shit i'm not gonna lie you know as much as i'm not a vegan i will never be a vegan but they are pretty good delicious vegan like mushroom fucking shit you know delicious you know what i once said i had a pulled pork mushroom sandwich it's just mushroom but they just they you know they do this shit to it with a fork and then they put fry it with barbecue sauce delicious i had it it was great shit you know it was good but uh if i was her yeah i just would have just sat there out of respect and ate whatever was on the menu man i'm sure some of them are actually pretty good i would have sucked it up for granny yeah me too that's what i would have done for sure not be stubborn and be a child and be like there's no meat you know it's just out of respect just one meal just fucking eat it you know what's the problem to eat vegan dish just once to make your granny happy exactly just like come on man just sit down and just enjoy i mean come on you don't have to finish the dish anyway I'm fasting today. Yeah, it's Ramadan. So, you know, assalamu alaikum. But unfortunately, I don't think you are Muslim. So, yeah, that wouldn't work. Some grilled mushrooms taste just like meat. You fucking crazy. Okay, I, I, okay, shh. I wouldn't take it that far. Please calm down. I, I wouldn't take it that far. Please don't. Compare mushrooms and meat, okay? That is stupid. No. Yeah, life doesn't work that way. I don't mind people that are vegan, of course. Like, I don't mind. Like, why would I disrespect somebody because they're vegan? But if they're going to push it down my throat, that's a problem. Like, let's say that uh, we're in a group. Uh, uh, and then there's this never happened, but let's say that there's this person that's a vegan. And he or she was was like you guys are ordering like you're ordering meat don't you know the animals i would deck that motherfucker in the face fair and square i would deck him in the face before he even says the word you know that's not fair i would fucking i would destroy him obliterate him you know i'll punch him so hard all his teeth are gonna fall out so he'll really enjoy his vegetables you know what i mean oh don't worry you don't need meat anyway you don't need those teeth do you I don't, sorry, uh, you know, sorry, I know there's kids here, we got some kids, I know it's a kids show sometimes, not really, well, that's what I do, really, and if it's a girl, now I can't hit her, so I would ask KS Tosh to beat the fuck out of her for me, yeah, that's right, and I'm gonna watch it with the popcorn, I'll probably record it, send it to World Star Hip Hop, huh? I hate that when people just kind of throw it down my throat. It's like, why are you doing that? Can you leave me alone? <laughs> like, let me enjoy my meal. And that never happened, though. That that never happened. But, you know. No, really, like, I mean, like, I don't care if you're vegan. I respect that. You know? But if you're going to come at me for it, you're going to come at me. You're going to give me shit when I'm just trying to enjoy my meal. I'll fuck you up. Right? I'm going to fly knee kick you. Can you handle a flying knee kick that's traveling 100,000 miles per hour? You can't handle it. You just can't. Okay. I wouldn't starve myself just because I don't want to eat a few vegetables. I love vegetables, don't get me wrong. That person is always a Karen. Why is it Karen out of all names? Why do you think it became Karen? I know it's a saying like, oh, excuse me, you cannot record here. This is college property. You cannot do it. You know, like those people, yeah, the Karens, right? Why are they called Karens? So is it because like typical, like, I don't know, like why is it Karen?
It's always a Why is it a Karen? Like, where does Karen originate from? You know? Like, where does... Can, like where does Karen or that my question is where does Karen originate from where the like where did it come from it's an American thing right obviously because they're usually named Karen <laughs> really it's always some white lady named Karen I was at a wedding and I felt bad because I was eating meat while I sat next to a vegan. He was super chill and said, I don't give a fuck about the animals. I'm just allergic to a lot of meat. <laughs> he said, I don't give a fuck about the animals. I'm just allergic to to a lot of meat. Uh, I have not gotten a call yet, so I don't think anyone's pissed, off, pissed you off enough. Yeah, well, hopefully, I don't think a girl would, hopefully, would make me pissed off like that. You know, hopefully not because I don't, I don't want... You know, I don't want to put blood on KS Tosh's hands, you know. I don't want that. You know, I'll try to take care of myself first. But if she crosses the line, and I'm like, could you give me a second? I have to make a call real quick. I don't want I wish that doesn't happen. You know, I wish it doesn't happen. But thank you, KS Tosh, for the Reddit stories. Can everyone, can we please give a round of applause to KS Tosh for the Reddit stories? Always killing it. Huh? Korea, we have that too sometimes. I don't know. I never really experienced that in Korea. I'm sure we do, but like sometimes, like when I smoke in the streets, they'll say some shit, but that's barely, that never happens. So I don't know. I think Korea is more, we don't really, we don't tend to kind of go out of our way to talk to random people. We kind of keep it to ourselves. We just say it in, behind our breath and we just don't really, you know, that's kind of Korea. But America, so you guys are more like open. You talk like, you know, hey, good morning. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't do that shit. I'm sure there's a saying like that in Korean. It's just that I just don't know it. Something like Karen, right? If not, KSL, she would definitely step in. Please do, because I don't want to go to jail. Or I can just wear a wig and be like, excuse me. Before I restart this, I identify as a woman. But, you know, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can do that if I'm in America, no? <laughs> it's only America. I hate you in Europe. We don't do that too. Yeah, well. Sean only keeps it in the ring very professional. Yeah, that's right. Do you like that about Korea? Do you wish people were more open slash friendly? No, I mean, you they're, they, are, they are friendly. It's just that they're not open. Most Korean people are fucking friendly as hell. They're like, uh, and they're like, they, they. like oh, shit, like, is, is, what's this, this, this? Little? Oh, I go there. They're super, the like, Korean people are fucking friendly. Don't get me wrong. We might be reserved, but that doesn't mean we're dicks. Like, most Korean people... Oh, like we're very respectful towards strangers and stuff. It's just our culture, you know. If I bump into somebody, typically we both look at each other and be like, "Oh, like it's very, you know, not all. Of course, there's fucking assholes and bitches, but typically, if I bump into somebody, majority would look. We will both turn around and be like, "Oh, and then we would, you know. By the way, have you seen Daniel's latest real answer? He he mentioned to you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Oh, he told me about you, KS Tosh. Yeah. He was like he was streaming and then he was like, um You asked him to unbutton his shirt a little bit and he was like, What? And he was like, Oh, I just can't see the chat. <laughs> And then he was like, and he was like, uh, I, I gotta tell Sean about this. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna call her out tonight for it. Uh, 
Uh, I've seen so many people say people never acknowledge when they bump into your career. Why is that? Really? Not in my experience. Every single person that I typically bump into, they all apologize for me, at least for me. I never had a person be like, and pass by. Never. Every time, every person I bumped into, they we turn around and they just, like, like at least they might not see each other, but they just be like, you know. Fifteen. I spent fifteen days in Korea, and the people there were fr- friendly and helpful. I had a wonderful time. That's great. See, that's a good thing. Stop fucking with me. I call my stream moms. I might have to fuck. I might have to. If there's a girl that's just crossing the line and I can't do anything physical, then I might have to be like, you know what, ladies, take the stage. I never really apologized to Switzerland, which is weird as fuck. I've lived there my whole life. My mom taught me to apologize in that situation. Of course. Make a vlog bumping into people of different cultures. Yeah, maybe I should. That's a good idea. That's a nice skit. I should maybe do that with Jim or something. What's good, G? Oh my god, me saying it just terrible fucking arms. I apologize about that. Fucking hell. He did not. It was not like that at all. <laughs> I really could chat because of this shit. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We know. But they were just laughing about it. In Korea, I had an old lady on the subway smile and talk to me but could understand her. Yeah, there are sweet old people. Trust me. I know that some people come to Korea and they be like, oh, they go on TikTok, obviously, right? Like I said, they go like... They go to they go to Korea. Next thing you know, they're like they had this one racist experience. They're gonna go like I'm gonna fucking go home and make a TikTok video, and they're just like <laughs> going home, and then they go like, they turn it on, record. You guys are not gonna believe it. Uh, I really didn't want to make this video. Shut the fuck up. We we all know what you wanted to make that video because you wanted to get views. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, you know, I just I had this experience where uh, this old man or old lady did this to me. Blah 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 blah. Korea is really not what I expected. I'm very very disappointed in the people of Korea. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'll ever be back here. But the food's delicious though. Go fuck yourself. Ka, go jogro, shibar, huh? Yeah. Of course there's going to be people that are going to treat you like shit. That exists fucking everywhere. Okay? That exists everywhere. I know you wanted to. I know you wanted to get a, a bad experience. Why? Because you wanted to get them views. You wanted to get the TikTok money. You wanted to get the fucking views. I know it. I know it. Don't lie to me. I bet you literally go out of your way to experience these things just so you can make a fucking video about it so you can talk about it. I know you. You want you want the views. And I bet you when you tell the story, you fucking exaggerate it because you want people in the comments to be like, oh my God, I had, I had this one experience in Korea where I had to do it. Blah, 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 blah. Tarash. Huh? Imagine if I went to Japan. Do you think I'll ever do a content where I go to Japan, for example, and then I, I have this one bad experience? I had that experience with that one taco guy. Uh, not taco, takoyaki guy, right? He was like, he was still like, he was literally almost yelling at my ass. I had to fucking glare his ass down. But then, did I go on TikTok and be like, we have a long history with Japan and I thought that we uh, have gone past that but unfortunately not because a takoyaki owner yes yeah you get my point fuck it out it's so tiring it's so old now like hey 
Grow the fuck up. Maybe you should have. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have done like a sarcast, sarcastic video about it. Japanese people go all out to help you, even if you ask. That's true. They are very kind. They are very. Japanese people are fucking polite. They are. It's just that one guy. And did I? Did I go on TikTok and be like, how? Or or oh sorry, of course, you are not gonna believe what happened to me in. Japan in Osaka right now. Let's talk about it. So, when I was walking to uh, Dotonbori, everything was fine. And I. Come on. But, Sean, I was shocked. Middle aged people spoke to me. A lot of people our age just looks really. Nothing just looks really thought it would be the other way around oh really that's sweet right you we all seen those fucking videos oh my god I, w I live in Korea for three years now and let me tell you something let me tell you the biggest secret that you've never 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 ever heard let's talk about it so next thing you know I, um, I live in three years and now I went to this club in Hongdae right of, you gotta press the record button because you just didn't edit it properly. You gotta show that point. And this guy came up to me and he literally grabbed my butt. And I'm telling you, it's so dangerous to go clubbing in Korea. I'm tired, sick and tired of those fucking videos. Sick and tired. Sick and tired. Get ready with me, I know. And especially like the ones where they talk about dating a toxic get ready with me while I talk about my toxic ex no one gives a fuck about your toxic ex bitch no one does okay I mean I think of so many tiktokers there's too many of those now there's too many too many And you know what the biggest thing I, I feel like is, is very funny to me? Are those TikTok videos where they cry. Yeah, this is mystery as fuck. This is the biggest mystery. So you're like, okay, so I come home and I'm sad as fuck, right? I'm crying. Oh, I gotta record this. Get the angle right. You go like that. I don't understand that. Yeah, that could. I I just really want to know how that was set up. And it's a sad music of piano, and it's a voiceover. Sometimes, life is not good. Life can be difficult. The people around you can really, really hurt you. But it's what's important is you. Getting over yourself, hatching like a beautiful butterfly, and understanding that there are beautiful people around you, and you have to keep your eyes open. And then it's a voiceover going on while they go like, <laughs> "Oh, sorry, sorry." It's um, they're usually they have their phone like this, and they're like. <laughs> Right. I, I watched too many of them. I watched too many of them. It's, it's like it, that you can you can upload whatever you want on social media. That's up to you. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But I want to know the whole process of how it was set up. Like the whole process. Like how was it set up? Were you crying first and then you decided to just record it? Or were you recording and you just used your, and you started crying? I'm so curious about that. What are the secrets? Please teach me. I want to get some views too. I want to go viral.
it's not at all what I expected. You have to prepare yourself before coming to Korea and don't make the same mistake I did. Yeah. But you, you guys feel me, right? Chafil? Chafil? You guys feel me, right? We, we are, we're, we're on the same team, right? We're on the same team. Damn, you acted out better than them. Fuck, I'm, I'm Hollywood solo, bitch. Hollywood solo. Cause the, no, I, I've seen those videos before that pop up on my reels. I'm like, wait, was it? Why do people do this? Anyway, sorry, I've been ranting. My bad. It's just because it gets kind of tiring to see that kind of fucking videos. Because let's say that I want to cry it out. I don't want to record. I don't want to put that up on social media. You know, I'm just, I'm just good being on my own, man. You know, I just don't understand. Like, I just want to know how it's set up first. Like, do you cry first and then you decide, oh, I should record this? Or is it like, oh, I need some views. And then you just kind of like record it and you just kind of, you just go Hollywood on you. You just go all out Hollywood and start crying. I don't know what it is. So I'd love to know though. Isn't that, a, isn't that like a mystery that we all kind of want to know? How did he do it? And make a video impressing, impressing Edward. word. Girl, shut the fuck up. Oh, ah, ah, ah. My mic is, is not working. Ah, it's not working. No. Ah, is it working? Ah, ah, ah. It, it, it should be working. No? Ah, it's not working at all? Ah. Uh, I don't know, maybe it was like, an, like a little issue. Is it okay? It says it's working here. It should be working. Hello? Can you guys give me a thumbs up if it's working? Okay, it's working. Yeah. But that was my little rant before I sign off. You know? You haven't gone to the bathroom today. Actually, it's about to explode. I'm trying to go. I'm trying, I was saving it because I sometimes save it to go. I call it um, a, a session called the hydro pump session where I save it up and then I just blast it out like fucking blast toys, you know? I call it the hydro pump sessions. I enjoy it very much. Feels really nice, actually. Try it. Next time like you want to pee, just kind of hold it just for a little bit. Don't do it too often because it's not good for you. Just sometimes when you're in an urgent situation where you have to hold it, hold it and then have yourself an, an amazing uh, hydro pump session. Trust me. Hmm. Michael's off and on. Really? I think it's just a, really. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Everything is well connected. Um, okay, hello, 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 hello. I reloaded my page and it worked again for me. Okay. I think the internet's not working. Okay, no, you cut off, and then though it's weird because you're not even touching the mic. Is it? Uh, can you guys hear now? Well, everything is well connected. It's my program says it's working fine. Hello. I guess some of us, some of you guys, can hear me fine. Some of you guys, hydro pump session for girls are differently sweet. Ooh, oh, shit, shit. Okay, yeah. But anyway, um. Yeah, I'm going to sign off after I have this cigarette. But uh, yeah, please uh, refresh your page again. Uh, if next time, if this happens, please do refresh your page uh, when the mic isn't working. I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant.
No audio problems here. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys hear my computer? You know what I call my computer? And my computer does a lot of right. So I, my favorite, my dream car is a Nissan Skyline, right? So my computer is a Nissan Ground Line. I call it. Audio is still not working. Uh, I think it's a you thing. We're still coming in and out. Why is that? Is that? I don't think it's my mic, is it? Ah. Okay. YouTube came up with an error message. Yeah, I think it's a YouTube thing. I don't think it's me. My mic should be working fine. We enjoyed your get ready with me session. <laughs> Haven't you cleaned that up yet? Yeah. R34. R34. Come on. R33 is nice. R34. 100%. 100%. R34. Skyline. Yeah, it should work. Hopefully, if you've refreshed, refreshed your page. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to sign off after I smoke the cigarette. I hope you guys enjoy today. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Friday. Huh, tomorrow's a Friday. A lot of you guys want pickup lines, but I'm going to do that with Jerry uh, next Tuesday. So please be prepared. Uh, you can spend your money on a buy new electronic. Yeah, after refreshing the page, only work. Uh huh. Yeah, but anyway, uh, ladies, I hope, thank you for making me feel better after I fucking stupidly, my dumbass lost my... Um, my dumbass lost my uh, what, what, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, my uh, Apple Watch. Yeah, I think so. I th I'm definitely gonna edit this one tonight and see how it works. Make it funny, you know. But anyway, uh, everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you guys have an amazing night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday, huh? Well, it's, actually, technically, it's already Friday for me. But anyway, everyone, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful night, and I'll see you tomorrow.